Time for Sex, the podcast. Cause sexuality is tough. And okay, sex just isn't good enough. No, time for, time for sex. Hiya, welcome to Sex the Podcast. Erica Miley here. I want to introduce this next interview I have, and I'm terrible with the accent, so he does he he did so much better of introducing himself than I do, but I just wanted to get jump on here real quick so that you kind of know where to go to find his products. Yele Plantenga is he is the founder of Velor, Velvor, so V-E-L-V uh, apostrophe O-R. And he created this company that created amazing rings for the penis. So, or in other words, cock rings. And I cannot wait for you to hear this interview with him. He talks, of course, in it's my podcast, so oftentimes we end up talking about sexual shame in some way, shape, or form. And he talks about how he came up with his product. And uh, he actually, when we were on video, he showed me some of the um, products he had with him. So I definitely have the website in the show notes because that way you can see some of the things that we talk about in this episode. So uh, here is Yele, and I cannot wait for you to hear it all right welcome to sex the podcast erica miley here and i'm here with yele right am i getting it right (laughs) um from velvore for gentlemen um i want you to introduce your company and tell our listeners what you do Right, I will start at the beginning. It was about, let's say, in 2001 that I started experimenting a bit with cock rings. And uh, I was looking for something uh, more stylish, more specific, more beautiful as everything which was out there. So I came across a brand from the UK called Misu, which is unfortunately not alive anymore. Um, and they had a tension set ring. So that's a ring with a diamond or another type of stone set in between um, in the ring, which was just like, was a very stylish, um, good looking product, exclusive. But unfortunately, uh, it just was a straight O-ring. Um, so not not directly following the lines of a male body. Um, mm-hmm. At that time, I, a friend of mine who was a jeweler, I called him up and I said, well, you know, can can I pop by and, and design or let, let's make something new? Um, right. So together with him, we actually created a, a, a standard O-ring and bended it over a pipe. And from that moment on, you know, it, the, the brand developed from uh, just an ID to... Um, to the 3D printed cock rings that I have right now, the precious metal ones, um, just added uh, added a, a, a G spot dildo based on VS design from the UK company. Um, mm-hmm. So that's basically how it how it all started. It was just like uh, something that I missed on the market and wanted to 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 give the world something uh, something different, and something more specific, better used. Uh, which gave more more pleasure, more stimulation um, to the male itself instead of to to the partner. Let's because if you have a vibrating cock ring, for instance, uh, that's more giving the pleasure to the to the female partner as it does to the guy that that actually is wearing it. Right. So you saw you saw a need in the market, and you saw this is what I need. This is what others need. And you fulfilled it. I think it's wonderful. I saw your images on Instagram in particular. And I just thought I, that was my first thought was this is beautiful. Well, then, luckily nearly everybody thinks the same, especially if it comes up to the, to the precious metal versions, even, even though the, the three printed versions are, are a piece of art as well. Um, no, so it's 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 different for him to wear uh, when he has it in his living room or wherever. You know, not everybody would say, "Oh, that's a cock ring. That's something to use uh, just only during sex." Although um, I didn't directly c- 
created it to to be efficient during sex, you know, because it's bended and it gives pressure on perineum, where it's also the first chakra located. Um, it actually makes a guy more self-convinced. Uh, it makes him feel um, feel on top of the world that he's able to to do uh, different things, and and it actually also um, releases stress. I think it's it's amazing that you have created such a wonderful and so specific a need for men in particular. And so when you think about when someone is first starting out with sex toys, when a man is first beginning, what would you say are some basic tips to start out with either a cock ring or any other kind of toy? Well, you know, the cock ring is of course the easiest one to use. Um, you know, it's just let's let's take I, I will show you on 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 the video and and you can you can actually show it. Um, this is actually a, the J Bowa, which is a lasso uh, lasso penis ring. So it just goes over the uh, over the shaft, um, totally to the bottom. He ties it up and his penis stays stays hard. Um, that's due to the fact that the blood goes in in the middle and goes down as a fountain. So if you constrict it by the base, it will stay hard. Um, it's a very simple, easy thing, you know, nothing, nothing special, nothing. And a man that, that he's using something which is, you know, maybe, maybe gives him all types of different, different, um, thoughts in his mind that it's, that it's maybe only for gay guy, heterosexual guys talking. Um, and it's, it's an easier step than let's say taking a butt plug and, and using that. Or uh, or a rigid ring like like the Jainaja, which is, um, you know, which which is. He's showing me one of the 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 rings that have the 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 notch for the perineum, correct? That has the, yeah, and it the one that he's showing me is bright. It's like bright yellow neon. It's very cool looking. Yeah, this, this is actually the neon version where my 3D printing 3D, 3D printer is experimenting with it. So luckily in the future, you can wear it and, and glow, in, glow in a neon uh, environment. That's, that's so awesome. I love that. That is so great. Okay, so when I, I think you're right that especially with a cock ring is a really good place to begin. And I think you made a really good point about that sometimes I think that happens with like uh, cis men who kind of like think, oh, it's only for other people or this isn't for me. And I think that this is a, a I think your product, is, the way you set it is really important that everyone can benefit from using a toy and you can feel stronger and braver and, and, feel less shame right so if you would say what your aim is of your business like your mission statement what would that be and ringing and enriching actually so you know and ringing is <laughs> enriching is really for for guys but also women uh the partners really doesn't bother of course if it's a male or or female um that they you know explore explore something different that they get out of their comfort zone and um, experience something totally different. Um, most of the guys that, that wear a, a ring of mine wear it during the day as well. So it's not that, not specifically only for the sex, but they wear it during the whole day. What it does during the day is actually that it reminds them of being a man. It's it's like when when a woman wears ben, Benoit balls, you know, for instance. It's always the Kegel muscles that, that needs to have them. And she's always reminded of, of you know of her of herself of her uh, feminist um, uh, being you know and that's 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 the same what happens with my product. That's fantastic. So, what what materials do you typically use? Well, most mostly it's it's a nylon fiber, um, and that's a. A powder that's 3D, 3D printed. Um, so the, I I work with the industrial 3D printers and not the home uh, home printing machines. So it's a it's a machine of a, of a couple of million dollars. Um, 
and they build up build up the rings and after after it's it's um it's built up so it's 3d printed it will be colored and after that it, it it's tumbled so making it nice and smooth and that's the majority of of the of the the rings that i sell of course beside that um there are the more exclusive uh products as the j cobra and the king j cobra um of which i can show you now a, a brass version for instance um mm -hmm. which is handmade in the uk by master silversmith and these ones are the ones that a lot of guys are dreaming about. They're saving money to uh, to finally own one. Um, they they're exclusively exclusively priced um, due to the fact that that I want to just only a, a limited amount of of men wearing them. Of course, a nice amount, but you know it's 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 like buying a um, a watch. You know, uh, an expensive watch for a guy that that he has on his wrist. Um, you can also spend a few few thousand, up to a few hundred thousand uh, dollars or euros on it, um, if to give yourself something pre uh, precious. Yeah, what you showed me the the metal one, that that looks beautiful. That it it's it's gold. The one that I'm looking at, he's holding up. And it does. It looks like something precious. Well, I call it a crown jewel for his crown jewels. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's how exclusive <laughs> it is. I love it. Yeah. So how do you think sex toys generally help reduce shame and enhance sexual relationships? Well, let me think about that one. Um I think the first step is to step over your shame to to buy one or to try one out. So that's that's step number one. And if you accomplish that one, um, you have to step into the bedroom, uh, wearing it, uh, showing it, um, you know, asking your partner what he or she thinks about it. And I think that that's that's the first step of getting over your shame. Um, the nice thing about my rings is if. If a guy wears it, his package is actually a bit pressed to the front, so his package is looking is presented better um, as when it normally hangs hangs out there. So that's probably also for a lot of guys. Maybe the guys that are a little bit smaller um, are stepping over that shame when they when they um, walk up to their partner, or just before sex, or before foreplay, or uh, whatever. Uh, during sex, of course, you know the the perineum part which is giving the pressure, um, gives him a, a firmer reaction, reaction. His ejaculation is way stronger. Um, the ringing itself is, of course, a comfortable feeling, um, which you know gives him the feeling of, of being more male and being more the... Um, you know, it's, it's more pleasurable for him as well. That's... I, I think that... When one of the things that we forget about sexuality and in general is that how do things look to us? We we as humans and men in particular really like a visual stimulus. And being able to present yourself in a way that you feel confident can get you over that shame. And I think that's an excellent point you're making. Well, I know a lot of guys actually uh, are also telling that telling that to me as a feedback. That it that it gives them um, gives them more self convinced when when they're being that they're being more self convinced when they wear it. That's wonderful. So, how do people find you in the world? There there are multiple ways. If if they type in uh, ergonomically designed cock ring, three um, D printed cock ring, uh, yellow cock ring, uh, Velvore cock ring, um, J Cobra cock ring. Um, basically, if they go to www.velvor.com, and Velvor is v e l v hyphen o r dot com, they will find me and the products. Fantastic! So I will make sure everything is in the show notes for our folks, and I'll even try to make sure that we get some links so they can see some of the things that we were talking about there on on the screen while you and I were talking. 
So thank you so much for being with our listeners today. I appreciate it. It was awesome. It was good to to have a chat with you and to to tell the world a bit more about my brand and my products and how I got them to the world. That's so wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to the interview I had with Yele from Velvor, V-E-L-V apostrophe O-R. He provided us with his website. So I want you to go and check it out so you see some of the products we talked about. It's www.velv-or.com. Uh, all of this will be in the show notes so that you can see these wonderful products he made. They, they really do look like works of art. So I want you to check it out. Again, if you have any questions for me, I am happy to answer them. And you can connect with me at www.ericamiley.com, E-R-I-K-A-M-I-L-E-Y.com. Or you can shoot me an email, erica at ericamiley.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram, so take a look for me there. I will see you all next time. Have a great week.